Hello everyone, Sheila back again, welcome to my channel. I am busy knitting the yellow and white, sunshine yellow, this yellow. It be baby blanket or lap blanket, whatever you might want to use it for. It will be for sale, it will be on my Etsy shop and on my AB, not my Etsy, on my AB shop and I finish it. I'll finish the other one. I have two blankets here to go to the United States. That one. Turn it around down there. I've got to seal that bar down first, but I'm going to flatten it down as much as I can when I seal it. When I seal it. To get it into the, um, the bar down it's going in. So that's one blanket finished. And that was that one finished too. So I have two finished there. And I have to get on to um, Dagri and see about sending them off to her. But see as I finished that white one, I started on this one. Now just a little video to show you. Give you an idea what it looks like. You know, I'm loath to part with this. It's lovely and warm. It makes it makes a good shawl. It's a good size. <laughs> yeah, completely finished. I have to message to agree and get it sent to Weaver before I change my mind. <laughs> see as you can see it's quite quite big I'll have to measure it I don't exactly know what measurement this is so as you can see it's a good size that white blanket it was lovely and warm while I had it on my knee while I was knitting it of course, we'll not be needing things like that in our Navy for long because the weather's getting warmer and... And you know, this morning, I thought to myself, I was doing a little bit crochet. I'm sure we're doing this little... Just a little bit, that's all I had time for this morning. You can see how much one of the... This is a peg bag I'm doing for a lady called Dorothy. I have two to do for her. She wants a peg bag and a, a pro project bag. So I started that one this morning, but I was going out to do a little bit um, shopping. And it was a lovely day, nice and sunny. And I thought, when I come back, I'll go and forecast for any rain or anything today. But I went and did my little bit shopping and for anyone who doesn't know about my shopping channel get over to Sheila's shopping and cooking I only need about another hundred subscribers to monetize it but I've just put a, um, a video up on there because I did some shopping at home bargains this morning I went up looking for um, I went up for the sweets for the kids, which I get because they're a little bit cheaper up there. And I thought I'll get one or two things while I'm up there. But they have wool up there as well. And I thought I'll see if they've got any chunky because I prefer chunky for when I'm doing the bag. So I mix the chunky and the iron together. And that means I only need to put two strands together. Otherwise, it's double knitting with three strands. But they didn't have any. They had some stuff. Cable knit it was and you had to use a 12 millimeter hook on it my hooks only go up to 10 millimeter i wouldn't be using anything bigger than that and it did look really thick no i don't like that <laughs> so anyway i just got my little bit shopping and came back home and sorting out my lunch and that and and i thought to myself Before I start doing any sit down to do any knitting, I'm going to cut my grass because it's really high. And the last time it rained was Thursday. It was all Thursday night. It was really soaking on 
Friday. I thought, well, I've left it all day Friday. The sun's been shining this, the, most of the morning. I'll nip out and cut it, and you know the heavens opened. <laughs> I couldn't get out a day. It's soaking again now. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow. And Mon no, Monday's going to rain on Monday. So I'm hope hopefully today and Sunday it'll dry out a little bit. And I'll be able to do it maybe, I'm not sure whether it's Sunday or I'm going to better check on my phone. <laughs> I might have to go out tomorrow morning if I can. Oh, there are rain spots on Saturday now. There wasn't any on this morning when I looked. For well, five and four and five o'clock. It's going to be dry all day Sunday. Oh, but the heavens are going to open on Monday. Rain all day on Monday. Rain on Tuesday, Wednesday. Maybe I might try tomorrow morning before I go down my granddaughter, see if I can get my grass cut. Because it's grown like something not right with all this weather. We've had some sunshine and then it rains and spoils. I kind of get out to do it. But anyway, I'm having a cup of tea as well. Which I wouldn't be sitting here doing this video if it hadn't rained. And I'm doing what I normally do. I'm using two, two different <laughs> needles with the cable, the circular needles. That's what I like doing when I'm doing the, using circulars. I don't like working around in a circle. That on the wrong side. I find it so much easier knitting with needles like you do with two knitting needles and not one big circular thing. I've got to change that. So that's I'm going to carry on finish. This is going to be my afternoon thing, knitting this blanket. The mornings up to 12 o'clock will be doing these. Anything I have like that, because the orders keep coming in for these and they don't take very long, so I don't mind taking orders for these. But when I finish doing that, I'm going to do my other ones. I should put that down in a minute. Going to finish that one with the back I have there. So I have two two bags to do. As soon as I finish those two bags, I'm starting on things like this. And my pattern that I was doing, the latest pattern that I'm doing. Oh, and at the bottom of my bag, I hunted all over the place for this cable. There's nothing in my bag. And it's for putting my phone, for touching my phone to the um, the computer. And it's a nice little short one. And I also use it in the car. Because sometimes I charge my phone up in the car when I'm driving up to my friends or somewhere. And I have hunted the place for this. And I had to get out of... I found another one in my drawer, but it's a very long one. And I didn't want to create a long one because I have the wires all over the place. And I've just emptied, there's nothing left in that bag because I picked it up and there it was in the bottom of the bag. That's a place I should check when I've lost anything. I actually found my tape measure as well. I lost that the other day. And somebody did put a comment on and say, look in your fridge. Wouldn't be the first time I've done that. I've went into the fridge with something in my hand and put it down in the fridge where it wasn't in there. It had fell down. I had it in my dining room where I do all work out all my patterns at where, um, where I send out patterns to people and that. And I had had it on there because I was measuring the, um, the two little cardigans that I sent to uh, Rhiannon. I was measuring those and it had dropped down the back of the table and it was down right at the very back where my radiator is. So 
I found that and that was how I lost it. It wasn't lost, it was just dropped down behind the table. So I'm glad I found that now because instead of having a wire sticking out all over the place, it's just long enough to, to fit into my computer end. That's just with emptying that bag. But I can't believe I've only got one, two, <laughs> three, four things on the go. <laughs> and that is my cardigan. I'm in the middle of that there. Take the ball the thing out. I was in the middle of a row and I had to leave it last night. Couldn't keep my eyes open. That's why I left it off in the middle of a row. Done a little bit more from the armhole. I'm going up to the um the shoulders now. So oh I did make a mistake as well on the I was knitting away. That's how it's left on both needles as well, because I was knitting away and I think it was this one here. I'd knitted a couple of rows past it. Instead of having two rows down there, two stitches there, I had three. And then I suddenly realised I had one extra stitch on that end when I had knitted. I had done those two little holes and I had put the wool over again after them. Or oh, it was before them, it must have been before them because the hole was here. And that was how I ended up with three holes, but it also made an extra stitch as well. And I didn't realise... I should have realised when I counted those last stitches that there should only have been five stitches, but there were six. So I had to pull out a couple of rows and I started knitting arses to hell with that. I'm going to bed. <laughs> when I make mistakes, that's when it's time to put my knitting away. And I did because I was in the middle of a row. <laughs> Wind that up. Put it on there. And that would be for later after my tea. Where was I with this now? I'll have to find my little stoppers as well that I put on the end. I'll stick a little stopper on the end of the needle so the stitches don't come off that uh, end there. I can just do this here and I'm onto a change of one, two, three, four, done three rows, change of, change of row. I think this one is knit three, purl three for three rows and purl three knit three for three rows. You know, when I think um, that white one had a lot more stitches. I think I could put this on needles, actually it would be easier than working like this. But I do like it on the cable sometimes because you can stretch it out and see what something actually measures. But you can't when it's on the needles because it's all bunched up on the uh, the needles. But Anyway, that's that. And so... That's another little video today, like I said, if you aren't already subscribed, get over to my shopping channel and subscribe and give me those extra few subscribers to get it monetized. Because I do need a lot, I need a new computer, I'm going to have to buy a new computer. I do make enough from um, YouTube to things like that my last one i bought is only just over two years old and it went up the creek so i was having a look at some computers um mine the one i'm using now is a dell and i prefer the dell to my other one is an acer and it's a terrible webcam on it but this is a really good webcam on this dell one so if i buy another one i'm going to buy a dell and i know that the Hope that the webcam are going to be good, good quality and the quality on my Acer, the quality is good, but it's just not consistent. The The way it keeps going bright and dark, I want one where you can change things like that, where you can't on that one. 
So I need some extra revenue coming in for things I'm going to have to buy to keep my channel. Well, just to keep my channel, my channel good, actually, so that people want to watch it. So that's my bit for today. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.